You're watching The Isaiah Factor, Uncensored. And welcome back to the second half hour of The Factor Uncensored. A lawsuit alleges an unbelievable scandal at Coppin State University. Former player Evan Williams is suing assistant coach Lucian Brownlee for sexual assault and blackmail. According to Williams, coach Brownlee posed as a woman online. Get this, follow us. The coach posed as a woman online asking the player for nude pictures. The story takes another turn. Williams says Brownlee, the coach, used those messages as a form of blackmail, ordering Williams to have sex with his assistant coach. The lawsuit alleges Williams initially turned the request down, but he ended up going along with it. Current head coach Ju uh, Juan Dixon is also named as a defendant in the lawsuit. Williams alleges Dixon knew but did nothing to help. Let's talk about it. Dennis Sperling is here, attorney, and Barry Laminac, sports journalist and talk show host. B Barry, Barry, what the hell is going on here? Look, I, it, it, it's baffling, isn't it? You, yeah, it is. It is. To, to, to use that power, I mean, it's, it's, this is nothing new on campuses, right? I mean, this is being ignored when requests come forward by women is something that we've kind of sadly become used to. But players and their coaches, and right. the whole catfishing thing, it's, it's almost like you couldn't write this script. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's amazing that, that it would happen. And to think that you would get away with it, you got to be kind of dumb. Exactly. To think exactly. That, ah, that I'll pull this off and, and no one will be the wiser of it, that's pretty dumb. And you have to ask yourself, how do you push someone that far where they have sex with, with if, if you're heterosexual, with uh, uh, another male? Right. So, Dennis, taking a look at this, the devil is always in the details with lawsuits. Mm -hmm. What else came out in this lawsuit that may surprise a viewer out there? Well, let me first preface this by, by telling you, it is more men are... And, and, it, and it pains me to say this. Men are typically the biggest, biggest rip victims of rape in this country, if you count the prisons and the military, which we don't do. Mm -hmm. We always make women out to be the biggest victims of rape when in actuality is men. Now, when I look at this, I look at this young boy who's 18 years old, who's from New Jersey, who's down in Baltimore. He's around all these people. You know, you're on a basketball team, so it's already aggressive. You got all these people over you. And now you got this person who you, you're away from home, you think this person wants a romantic relationship with you. Turns out you're being catfished. And so now this person has convinced you at 18 years old to send these pictures of yourself, these revealing photographs, and this person is now saying, I'm gonna blackmail you if you don't send more. And just to see how far you can go, I'm gonna blackmail you unless you have sex with me. Matter of fact, unless you have sex with your assistant coach who I'm also gonna blackmail. This is what this coach, this assistant coach allegedly did. You got a young, easily influenced, easily terrified young man who doesn't wanna go back. Mm -hmm. He doesn't wanna go back to New Jersey. You, you've already made it, you're going back to the hood. You don't wanna go back, so he's gonna do anything he can to keep, keep his scholarship and keep his money because he doesn't wanna go home as a failure. I looked at the lawsuit. It's, it's in my opinion, as a, as a tort lawyer, you got some sound claims. You got negligent intention of emotional distress, intentional intention of emotional distress, negligent hiring. Somebody should have been watching this guy. Matter of fact, the coach admitted in a meeting with the father that pertained with the father and the player that related to some other issues that were going on, i.e. drug use. Now, as a historically black university graduate, I'm ashamed of what happened at Copeland uh, State University. We have an influx of young black men who want, and athletes who want to go to these historically black universities. And now, is this how you're going to treat them? And so shame on you, Copeland State uh, University, because it, it, it's a travesty in, in itself. But, you know, we can talk about the law, but for the most part, it, it's, it, you know. And Barry, this is yeah. not nothing, anything new. Just last week, the FBI put out an alert that there were 7,000 instances of sextortion mm -hmm. where young people have sent nude photos 
to individuals thinking it's other young girls, and people blackmail them, and there were three, 7,000 cases, 3,000 victims. Mm -hmm. This is nothing new. No, and I think the answer is stop sending nudes. Right. Like, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, stop. This it makes no sense. No, I, right. I can't think of a, a, a time when something. Last great, time I sent a nude, it was a Polaroid. Man, see, <laughs> fax it. Like, no. So, no. <laughs> I, look, I, the, the, the thing to me, the thing that gets me that that he mentioned earlier was like. You feel the pressure, but man, I, 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 you're just gonna have to put my little thing on the internet. Like, I, there's a, there's a point where, I'm, I'm you're gonna, gonna draw, draw the line. line. Yeah. yeah, and I, I think it goes back to though, just don't send nudes. Like, but that's see, the, see, here's the difference. You and I come from a different generation. Mm -hmm. You're a man. You hold the line no matter what. You die being a man, but you got. A different generation of young people who who live by social media, who live by social media, and, and alternative lifestyles are acceptable, and social media is a big thing to them. Whereas it wouldn't fade us, because it's like hell no, I ain't doing like, that. You got to mean? put my thing on there, because <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah, I ain't, yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> no, you, you see just what I mean? Put my thing on there. Yeah, but it, it's it's amazing though to me, just the, the when you take a step back and look at all this. The, the coach admitted, the head coach, Juan Dixon, admitted, I guess, in a meeting from what I read that we know he's crazy. Right. And then did nothing about it. Right. And then when the catfishing coach did actually send the nudes to the players and the coaches, there was a practice the next day, and Juan Dixon made that player made even go to practice. Right. There's Cold, just, it's just negligence Cold. all yeah. the way around. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor on Central.